Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a story how one of my friends tried to take advantage of me. So, this happened last year, and, well, pretty much about a year ago, ago I think... And it'll happen a year, it would have been a, it'll be a year ago in August. Um, I was on a BART trip with some friends and a group from my day program. And we were going um, to Oakland that day. And my friend who, um, and one of my friends, she, um, I asked her one day, when are you going to pay me for your scarf you ordered, blah, 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 blah. Because she borrowed a, she, um, not borrowed, she bought a scarf from me. But when she got the scarf, she refused, she didn't pay for it. And um, that's one of my bad habits I have is I have a bad habit of giving people their orders. And then later on, they'll, on I let them pay me and stuff because that's how I do my orders is I give them their product and then they I let them pay me for their product later on because um that's I don't know that's what I thought of because I don't like having so many orders in my bedroom because it clutters my room so much much so I didn't want my room to be cluttered with orders because I was going I was getting so many orders and stuff and it was like crazy because my bedroom was getting cluttered with orders and I wanted to give Rid of it, rid of it, and I gave her a scarf around the scarf around November of last year, and she had it from no November. I think it was January or November. I forgot, and then she had it for that. They're like, let me think. She had it for about nine months, and she did not pay me for the scarf. Scarf, and I was like, when are you going to pay me for the scarf? She goes, can I get it for free just because I'm your friend? I'm like, get it for free just because you're my friend? No, that's stupid. I mean, it's like, that's not fair to other people who have to pay for their orders. Uh, orders. I can't give someone something for free just because they're my friend. That's not fair. It's ridiculous. I mean, I have other customers um, that need that will pay me for their order but this friend just wanted the scarf for free free because free and i told her that's not fair you still need to pay me for it blah 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 and then the um, a, one of our instructors tells her you have to pay her for it blah 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 that because that's how she does her orders blah 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 so then we're in um oakland Oakland and then I went and it was really hot that day day because we were listening to music in like um an area in Oakland I forgot what area it is we were listening to music in this area in Oakland it looked like San Francisco I don't remember the name of the area anyway so we're in the area listening to some music and I think and it was like some kind of reggae music and so I was thirsty and I wanted to get a smoothie smoothie and so um my friend's like can I I want a smoothie too and so I took her with me because we did the buddy system. And so we went and got this. So we went to get smoothies. I was getting a Jamba Juice, a um, Caribbean Passion. You know, my friend wanted a smoothie too. She goes, can you buy me one? And I was thinking that's kind of weird because uh, so, uh, so I was, um, which I thought was kind of weird because I thought she would have brought money with her. Her, but I guess she didn't bring money that day and she really wanted a smoothie because it was super hot that day. So I went, oh, what the heck, I'll get it for you. And so I got her the smoothie and then when we got back, my um, the person in charge, uh, charge of our group, asked where how my friend got the smoothie. And she goes, oh, Mina bought it for me, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, you weren't supposed to ask Mina, you were supposed to bring your own money, blah, 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 blah. And she goes, oh, but Mina knows me. I know you? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. This, I mean, it's like, I will loan money to people and stuff like that. That and I'll that to help them out just in case they need the money and stuff like that. But, but saying I know, just because I know you, that is no way to actually borrow money from your friend. Friend and stuff and like get something for free from evil. 
blah, blah. And so, and they're kind of like having a little bit of a argument about it and stuff. And so we go back, back, back after the show is over later that day. And sorry, I'm having a brain pain. And the next day, I'm on Facebook, um, looking at my Facebook messages, and I get a message from the friend who I bought a smoothie for, and she told her, her that she wasn't, and she was not very happy in the message, and she literally was like, did you tell the lady in charge about what I did, blah, 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 asking you to buy me a smoothie and refusing to pay you for the scarf, blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, what are you talking about? How do you, how did you know about that? Because she told me, blah, 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 that I have to pay you back, blah, 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 blah blah, for the scarf and the smoothie, blah, 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 and I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I swear I didn't tell, she goes, now I have to leave the program and never pay you back, blah, 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 that's ridiculous, that's not very mature, it's always important to take responsibility for your actions, like, if you borrow money from someone, you have to pay them back no matter what, what and stuff, so I'm pretty good at, about paying people back, like, sometimes I'll borrow money from my mom, and I'll pay her back, or sometimes I borrow money from, I actually don't really borrow money too much, to be fairly honest, from people. I only, excuse me, I only borrow it just in case I need it. But other than that, I just pretty much pay for everything with my own money. Money and stuff. So pretty much every time I'll just pay with my own money. Money that I earn myself from work. Work, so yeah, back to the story, I'm sorry. And then my friend, like, yelling at me. He cut me over mess Facebook Messenger, like saying I won't be, I'll have to leave the program and never pay you back. Blah 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 blah. That it, and I thought that was a little bit ridiculous and stuff because that was not okay. And then I'm telling one of my instructors what happened, and she's like, like that's not okay. Blah 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 blah. So then we sent a message to the lady in charge and blah 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 blah. And so the next Monday because that was, day was a Friday, I go up to my, I confront my friend and I, my friend, I confront my friend, and so does the lady in charge, and we tell her, her, what she did was not okay, and how she bribed me, she made me buy her a smoothie, and made me give her a scarf that she refused to pay for, how it was not okay, and it really, really fresh, made me so mad at her, because it was just ridiculous, it was, it's not okay to borrow to ask your friends for money and, or for your friends for something for free when they sell, when they are trying to sell their items that they make, or they, sorry, I'm having a brain fade, or they, or make you buy them something when you should have bought your, brought your own money. That's really ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's not fair at all. Also, anyway, so my, the, my late, the lady in charge confronts my friend and tells her how she is is ma they're making her pay me back for everything that she did she borrowed like the like the scarf she I made her and the smoothie I bought her her and stuff and so they were like um I was very mad at her for not paying me back and she was like oh I can't pay her back blah 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 and they're like you still have to pay her back that's not okay blah 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 and so she's so mad that she storms off and leaves I never got my money back from her, like, I never got the money for the scarf. She already returned it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, and I never got money back from her for the smoothie. So, so I definitely learned my lesson to be careful of who I loan money out to. I always have people pay me back, and they always pay me back when they borrow money from me, and they're very, very good about it. So, in fact, also, let me show you a little trick that I just... Sorry, left my phone downstairs. There's, I'm going to show you guys my um, little tip I have for remembering who borrowed money from me. So this is the little tip. You can't see that is write down how much money somebody owes me. So then I remember how much they, sorry, my eyes are itchy, uh, owe me for their, um, for their um, product or if they borrow money from me, because I have a really bad habit of forgetting who borrows money from me and how much they owe me and when they borrow it. So I got to write down the date and how much they owe me. So that really helps me to keep track of how they borrowed money from me.
or when they, when they borrow money from me and everything. So yeah, I definitely did learn my lesson to not loan this friend any more money or, and also I think I may have to ban her from ordering from my company because she tried to get a free scarf from me and that was not fair for her fair for me and the other customers so the moral of the story is please be careful who you loan money out to out to because you got to be aware if they'll pay you back or if they'll they're just trying to steal from you i definitely learned my lesson to not loan this friend any money for money anymore so that was my story i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i apologize this video is so long but anyway thank you for watching i'll see you in another video soon Soon, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!